learners back with the another video with ni of nitrines uh, as we have already discussed the reactive intermediates free radical carbocation carbonyl and carbenes the one is left that is the nitrines nitrines and carbenes have resemblance they are sharing same properties they are showing same behavior but there is a slight difference in the nitrines and carbenes uh, firstly the nitrines are also known as imidogens and they are analogous as i have already said that the they are sharing the properties of carbene so we can say that is it is a analogous of carbene that means sharing the same properties in last uh, video i have told you about the property of carbene it was electron deficient carbene was also electron deficient so yeah, the, yeah, this property is the same one with the carbene electron deficient species and secondly it has six electron in valence shell so these two properties are same uh, as with the carbenes now we'll talk about the stability which one is more stable stability of carbene and nitrogen so which one is more stable so stability ki jab hum baat karte hain while we are talking about the stability nitrenes are more stable which one is nitrenes are more stable but why how we can say they are more stable than carbenes experimentally it has been confirmed that nitrenes are more stable than carbene and this stability is due to this is due to enthalpy difference there is a enthalpy enthalpy difference between the nitrenes and carbene that is equal to 25 kilocalorie per mole which makes it more stable fine now i'll talk about their types what are the types of nitrenes so uh, as we have already said analogous of carbene so they are of two types first one is the singlet nitrene second one is the triplet nitrene carbene was also having the same type so same first we'll take the singlet nitrene so first i am taking singlet nitrene so in singlet nitrene hybridization is sp2 fine uh, we will we'll take the structure nitrogen and they are p orbital p orbital p orbital and p orbital fine now i will show the ye hai aapke paired electron these are the sp2 hybridized orbitals these are sp2 hybridized orbital fine and this one is a unhybrid p orbital which is vacant having no electron fine and the, in the same way we can have the structure of the triplet nitrene triplet nitrene so in triplet nitrene what is the difference between the structure of singlet and triplet nitrene let's see here we are having p orbital of nitrogen these are the orbitals fine and here what is the difference we are having electron unhybrid p orbital here we are having unhybrid p orbital that is the vacant one but here we are having unhybrid p orbital which is having one electron fine and this is your sp hybrid orbital sp hybrid orbital fine here we are having r any alkyl group okay so the structure is singlet nitrene is this one which is having an hybrid p orbital with no electron and here we are having triplet nitrene with the electron carrying one electron in an hybrid p orbital this is the difference between the singlet and triplet nitrene structure 
so what are the examples of the singular oh, what are the examples of the nitrines so examples of nitrine are ph n phenyl nitrine or any alkyl group attached with the nitrine fine what is the multiplicity of this carbene uh, in last session we have said that carbene singlet carbene was having multiplicity 1 and this was having multiplicity triplet was having 3 but while we are taking about the nitrine the multiplicity is 3 so multiplicity is 3 we'll discuss about the multi uh, how to calculate the multiplicity of a, a particular compound particular orbital this can be explained this will take in the further coming videos first today we will discuss about the generation how the generation of nitrine takes place so we will be discussing the generation of nitrine how they are formed okay so we are having aryl azide r c double bond o n double bond n double bond n it carries positive charge it carries negative charge this is yours aryl azide group carries azide group, azide group sorry so here we are carrying this reaction either in presence of sunlight either in presence of heat so we'll we'll get the r c double bond o n lone pair lone pair plus n2 so this n2 will be released so we'll get a xyl nitrine fine so this is your reaction one more reaction we can carry out so we are having r c double bond o n br and here we are having hydrogen so in presence of hydroxyl so we'll get r c double bond o and n so we'll be getting this nitrine and what are the byproducts h2 plus we are negative so these are the generation reactions for the nitrines another reaction we can also have n double bond s double bond o in presence of heat gas phase will get the phenyl nitrine these are the generation of the nitrine so this is all about the nitrines uh, in next video we'll, i think we'll we can continue with the multiplicity as we have already discussed about the multiplicity carbene carries single singlet carbene carries one triplet carries uh, three and nitrines carries three uh, so next video we can continue with the multiplicity so we'll tell about the how we can calculate the multiplicity so uh, this is all about the nitrines uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the video thank you for watching